dispute between Michael War, the former Ole Miss great, terrific NFL player, and the Tui family who took him in, as everyone knows from uh, from the Blindside movie, and the dispute over how much money the Tuies have made, whether a conservatorship has taken advantage of Michael Orr financially, and the um, the dispute on both sides of it, with uh, both attorney both attorneys from each side making making claims that uh, you know that the other is either uh, erroneous or has unfairly taken advantage of it is really really been disappointing because because you you wanted to believe that everything was good in that story and you know being around this Ryan you probably heard that there had been a little distance uh between Michael War and and the Tuies because of this I don't think that Michael from what I've been able to garner has ever been a huge fan of the movie and I I understand why I think if you go another level down in that character in that movie and I'm not here to break down the movie but I think the you know one of the contentions that's been made recently and one of the things that had bothered Michael initially is that his character was portrayed as unintelligent I think if you really watch that movie closely it's not the case at least I didn't take it that way I thought that you know it was pretty obvious that once you got past the shyness that he was not portrayed that way however if you were the character you know, if the character was based on you, I can understand how you might not love the way that whole thing came out. So I, I, I have some, I, I have a degree of, of empathy there, I guess, for how he might feel about the movie. I, I don't know how all of this is going to come out, but I know that uh, from that particular story and the movie and the book and, and who made money, and I, I hope that, you know, everybody get, gets what they're entitled to. But I think it's really unfortunate because that was that was such a unifying, feel good type of uh, type of story between uh, the Tui family and Michael Ward to see it devolve into now what's going to become a legal battle is is uh, is kind of sad and I hate to see it. Yeah, and and so my perspective on this is my family, right? My wife and daughter who do not live by the box score by any stretch, but they love stories. You know, if they love game day because they love to watch the features. They don't really care about the, the preview of, of, you know, whatever so-and-so is going to do in the cover two that day. Tell them the, thanks the, a lot. Yeah, well, I, I love all of it. Just, I'm, yeah, I'm kidding. Yeah. But, but, but the point is, is that it's such an incredibly – it's an Oscar-winning film. It's, it's such an incredibly popular film. The book is, is, is a milestone book, you know, when it comes to, to research is almost everything that, that Michael Lewis does. But I say all that because my, I watch my family react to the news. You know, you mentioned Pete Thamel, so I'm on the emails, right, uh, of all the emails going back and forth between all the ESPN.com writers and editors about, hey, this story's breaking, what do we do with it? I, I knew about it in the morning. And they didn't. I, then I watched the two of them the rest of the day. Like, when are they going to find out? Because I'm not going to tell them. And they were devastated. And the reason is because it, it it casts a shadow. No matter what happens from here on, it casts a shadow of doubt on this story that has touched so many people. The Tui family that they they have made a living, you know, speaking at motivational events and speaking at these big conferences, and it's all based on this story. And so. It's touched the lives of so many people between the book and the movie and everything that's happened since then. And Michael's written a couple of books. He was in Oxford uh, doing a book signing, I think, just two days ago. And so that's the part that's tough to watch, is to watch the people uh, who who have found inspiration in this story when the veneers ripped off of it. And um, and that, 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 that that's tough to watch. And I think a really important thing for people in our position is something that our profession doesn't do a very good job of right now, candidly, is it is our job to get as many facts as early as we possibly can and then react to them. And in this landscape of media, it's okay to have an opinion on it. But I would say that it would be really important in a case like this given everything that's happening in our society and the divisiveness on virtually any front you can imagine right now, we would be wise as people in the media to let a few more facts play out here and then make whatever judgment you're going to make. Uh, because the, the claims on both sides are pretty desperate right now. You know, there, there's, a, there's a long gulf in between. And if truth lies in the middle, then maybe you can make 
uh, the judgment. And certainly if truth is on one side or the other, then that becomes a pretty easy judgment. But I saw a ton, a ton of people immediately gravitate to one side or the other. People had the inclination to jump to one side or the other and decide that version of the fact absolutely has to be true. Patience in yep. stories like this, you don't get, uh, you, you don't assign yourself to a position that might not age well, you know, it's, but I think the most important thing is sort of what you said, because my, my daughter, much like your wife and daughter is a beyond casual sports fan, very, very casual. She, she likes her brother's baseball team. And because we're a house divided in terms of allegiance, Alabama, Auburn, from where my wife and I went to school, uh, my daughter wants Alabama to beat Auburn so she doesn't have to listen to it from her mother and brother. And other than that, <laughs> that that's all she really cares about. But she loves, yeah. loves, loves, loves the blind side. She'll yeah. watch it. She'll run across it somewhere. She'll watch it. She'll pull it up, you know, on whatever streaming service it's on. She'll watch it because she loves the story. And that part of it is extremely unfortunate. Whatever the resolution is, I hope there's some patience shown by those of us in the media.